Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create an HTTP triggered function. You remember we created a function app in the last video and we will now we will create an HTTP triggered function. So let me just log on to the portal again and take it from there. I'm inside the portal. You remember we created test assert function app in the last video. So if you will click on functions after you have created a function app. It says Azure functions for .NET getting started. Uh, choose a developer environment and then create a function. Let's say author functions quickly in the portal. I'm going to choose the in portal development environment. Click on it. Click on. Click on continue. And it says a function that will be run whenever it received an HTTP request. So we have to use this A function that will be run on a specific schedule. That is a timer trigger. Then view all the templates. So we have to make a trigger that will be run when it receives an HTTP request. So it means it would be an HTTP trigger. Click on create. Okay, it gives you this uh, by default code to set the HTTP trigger. So if you scroll down, click on console. If you click on run, if you expand the console, it says that this is the default timeout is two hours. Welcome, you are now connected to log service. Click on collapse. This is get function URL. This is my URL. Let me just open the portal, uh, open the browser and test this URL. I'm open the incognito window attention here. Please pass a name on the query string or in the request party. Okay. Now if you will see the URL. So if I mention this my name enter it says hello ashish arora this, this is an even trigger for that function and whenever you enter this url in the browser it runs a key so when you click on get function url this is the default function key that you select you do not select master this is the default function key you copy it here and at the end you mention your name and now if you would have a look at the logs it says executing function sort http trigger one reason this function was programmatically called via the host api through the browser and then it got succeeded and this is the id so that is how you set up an http trigger to your function app so I hope this was useful and informational for all of you guys. If you have any concerns or feedback, mention in the comment section. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And hit a like button. And do not forget to share this video as well. And ask your friends to subscribe to this channel to get more new videos coming up in the coming future. Thank you. Have a great day.